We want to let folks place an order by selecting items and adding them to a cart. Now I already gave you a dedicated order class over here that handles items for us. There's an array of items right here, but there's a catch. If we're adding items to that array inside our item detail view, how can we make sure that same array works in an entirely separate order view? More importantly, how can we make sure both of these things update as either changes? Well, SwiftUI has got a quite brilliant solution here called an environment object. These are objects that our views can use freely, but they don't create or manage. They get made elsewhere and they carry on existing after a view has gone away. In our app, we'll make an instance of that order class when our app launches, then pass it into our content view anything inside that content view, and then they can say, oh yes, the uh, content view is my ancestor somehow, will automatically gain access to that environment object. Even better, when any of you changes the object, all other places will automatically update with the new data. Let's try it out now. In this iDyne app file here, this is the main place where we launch our application and create that first content view right here. We're gonna add a new property to make that order. I'll say at state object, var order is an order. And we do that, we'll get an error next code and that's fine, it's all intentional. It's not quite right just yet. What we're saying is make a new order object as our app is launched. And this property wrapper over here, that's responsible for keeping the object alive through the entire lifetime of our program. And now we can pass that into our content view when it gets created. We'll say to the content view, there's an environment object modifier passing in that order. Now, as you can see, Xcode's very unhappy here. It does not like us using at state object with the order class. This is because it's telling us very clearly the order class must conform to a protocol called observable object. What this means is SwiftUI doesn't understand how its UI is supposed to watch this order class for changes. It doesn't understand how it should send and receive notifications the data has changed. You can reload any of you that are watching it. That's part of the reason we have these environment objects. Think about it. If we select some food from the menu and add it to our order, we want that to appear immediately in our order page. We don't have to hit refresh to reload the order. It should just be there immediately. And for that to work, SwiftUI needs a standard way for objects like this order class to say, hey, uh, if anyone's watching me, you should know my data has just changed. Reload yourself. This standard exists already, and it's called the observable object protocol that Xcode's warning us about here. Anything that conforms to that protocol can be used inside SwiftUI like this and publish announcements when its values have changed somehow so UI can be updated. Apple provides a number of ways of sending out these announcements of changes, but the easiest is another wrapper called app published. It just means whenever this value changes, send an announcement. All you have to do is place app published before properties that should be announced, and that's it. It'll reload automatically. It's really powerful stuff. So in order.swift, we're gonna say first that our order class needs to conform to the observable object protocol just like that, nothing else. And when this property changes, send a change announcement, reload your views. We'll say at published var items, and that's it. Our class is now configured correctly. It'll work properly with state object. Our code will compile again nicely. So in total, we've just changed this order class so it knows how to announce changes to any views that are watching. And we've told this items array, whenever it changes, go ahead and make that announcement. Publish saying, I have changed, reload. We've then made an instance of that order class inside our main application and placed it inside the SwiftUI environment for other views to use. Nice. 